Hey there, Taste Wise Kids. I'm glad that you could all come and join me in my home kitchen. I am Chef John Shields, or like it says right here, I'm from Gertrude's Restaurant at the Baltimore Museum of Art. And I have been working with the Taste Wise Kids and the Days of Taste program for quite some time now, many years. And I love being with all of you, visiting with you, hanging out in the classrooms, and we make some great things, and we learn all about taste. Um, obviously, we're not in classrooms right now, so we thought maybe we could do a little bit of what we do there right here. Um, I've been a chef for like a really long time, um, over 40 years, and um, I've always loved food. I started cooking with my grandmother, Gertie Cleary, uh, who lived right over on Greenmount Avenue, and we cooked in a church hall uh, basement. And we cooked great big dinners for businessmen, and everybody always would have such a great time. So I think it was because of that love for food and love of people being around me, that's how I got into the business of being a chef. And when we're in that business, that's our mission is to feed people, to make people feel good. And that's what you like to do in your, your own home. So one of the things that we do um, in the program is we teach you all how to make some simple things. And this is, you know, May, we're in May, and May is salad month. So we're gonna make something that's really simple, but you can make it at home for your parents, and you can make it for your brothers and sisters and your friends and everything. So salad month, we're gonna make a honey vinaigrette, a, you know, a nice honey lemon with lemon. Okay, so to do this, now you're probably thinking, vinaigrette, what does that sound like? Vinaigrette. Well, I think it sounds a little bit like vinegar, right? But if we're looking at this recipe, there's like no vinegar in it. So what does vinegar taste like? What's our taste? Okay, what do we have our taste? Sweet, sour, bitter, and salty. So what would vinegar be? I think it would probably be sour. And if you were eating a lemon, that would be sour too. So we're going to use the lemon and the lemon juice. That'll be the acidic part, the sour part of our little dressing that we're making here. So as you can see, I'm just squeezing the lemon juice, the lemon here, and I'm using a little colander thing um, so that we don't get too many seeds into our dressing. Then, obviously, if it's a honey and lemon dressing, we're going to need to put in um, a teaspoon, just about a teaspoon of honey, and then I'm going to whisk this up. So whisk is a very important thing. I always tell you that whisk is two things. This is a whisk, so that is a noun. I'm going to whisk the dressing together. Then we got a verb going on there. All right. So we like to have some other flavors in. I'm going to get us a shallot. Now, how many people know what a shallot is? It's like a super duper 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 onion. Has a really strong flavor. And I just cut up real fine, like about a teaspoon of the shallot. Now I'm gonna take, and again, we're gonna whisk that in. And then I'm gonna grab and put in just a little pinch of salt and a little pinch of pepper in here. And then we're gonna take the good stuff. Now this is olive oil. Uh, you can use any kind of oil, uh, vegetable oil, but this is almost local. I got this at the 32nd Street Farmer's Market right here in Baltimore. And a friend of mine has an olive farm in Greece. He goes over, he makes the olive oil, and he brings it back to Baltimore. So it's not totally local, but it almost is. So, now, here comes the whisk part. You listen? 
we're gonna put in about six tablespoons, but you don't dump it all in. You're whisking it really, really, really slowly. And the reason for that is it kind of thickens it a little bit. We call it emulsified, but really it just makes your salad dressing thicken up just, just a touch. It's not real thick, but it gives it some body. And you want that body so that it will hold to the leaves of lettuce. And you'll get some really, 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 really good flavor out of there. So here we go. Slowly, slowly, slowly. This is something you can practice with. And you could have a friend do it. One can whisk. One can pour in the olive oil really, 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 really slow. Then what you can do is you could take and taste and say, oh, I really, really like that. Or you could say, maybe I want mine to be a little bit more sour. So you take and put a little bit more lemon juice in there. Or, and this happens often at our Days of Taste program, so many of the kids say, oh, can't we make it a little sweeter? So we just throw in just another little touch of honey. Whisk it up some more, and then your dressing is all ready to go to make your very own salad. Okay, like I told you, this morning I went down to the farmer's market. Uh, Miss Cinda from Gardener's Gourmet grows some of the most beautiful lettuce you've ever seen. We have arugula, and that is very bitter. And then we have these just beautiful, tender little greens and little lettuces that are just absolutely gorgeous. So now we're going to toss the salad. That doesn't mean I'm going to throw it. We're going to toss the dressing on there. So I'm just going to take my dressing and pour it along here. I didn't pour it right down the middle. I did it mostly, if you saw, down the sides. Now, this is what we call tossing the salad. Uh, you can get two spoons to do this. Um, you can put some gloves and do this. Uh, but this is just a simple tossing of the lettuces. And that gets the dressing to distribute all through there. Look how beautiful this is. Then, we're going to take our salad and put it right here in the center of our plate. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. And then, this is where the fun part comes in. We can put on top of this salad, or in the salad, anything we like. And this time of the year is great. Uh, Mr. Dave at um, uh, Rock, Black Rock Orchard, he just grew these gorgeous strawberries. So how about we put some strawberries in here? I think that that's really nice because most people like those a lot. Mr. Dave also was grew some gorgeous blueberries, and I love blueberries. So I'm going to take a little bit of those and put those all around. Then back when I was at Miss Cinda, she had, anybody know what these are? Radishes. And they're nice and crispy and have a beautiful, clean flavor. So I'm going to take some of those and put those all around my salad there. And then I visited Miss Pam. Miss Pam has Charlottetown Farm. She has her goats. Sometimes she brings the goats to the market. If you can see that. So she makes this lovely, very, very nice goat cheese that we can crumble and put on top. Now, you could use any kind of cheese that you like. A lot of times, kids like to have mozzarella, just like you would have on a pizza. And you take your nice mozzarella and you put it all over, but we're gonna take Miss Pam's goat cheese and put this all over the top of our salad. Now, I know some of you are spicy and you like things that are a little bit hot, so you might wanna have a little bit of pepper. So this is a pepper grinder, and I'm just gonna put just a little tiny bit of that. So if we look what we have, all the stuff that we get in our salad, can almost all of it is local. 
our greens, our berries, the blueberries, the radishes. Um, we have Missinda has honey, and then the olive oil that our friend that lives in Baltimore made for us and brought over from, um, from Greece. So I think this is about as local as you can get. And that's one of the best things we can do when we're planning our menus and we're coming up with what to eat. The things that are being grown local usually have the best taste, the best flavor, the best everything. So, my dear Days of Taste and Taste Wise kids, thank you so much for letting me come over and visit with you today. But I have a question. Now, if you were going to go to the farmer's market and you were going to make a salad, tell me what kind of salad you would like and what you would put in yours. So I'll be listening and standing by because I can't wait to hear what you say. Thanks for coming over to my kitchen today. I loved being with you. Bye.